Hi everybody, my name is Pumran Miraudze and in this segment, I'm going to be speaking about my unpopular opinion about relationships. Okay? Just my very unpopular opinion. Okay. So, I meet lots of different guys, okay? Lots and lots of different people that um, I think I could spend my life with. Okay, not a lot though, but some. First of all, look at how they look. That plays a very important role. Well, there's the saying that if somebody's ugly, their heart is ugly too. <laughs> I don't know how true that is. It's a saying. I did not say it. I did not say it. So, literally, I go for handsome guys. <laughs> yeah, I go for handsome guys because I love to look, you know. I want to wake up in the morning and be like, I cannot believe I'm next to you. <laughs> Okay, that's how I think I'm gonna feel each and every morning if and when I get married to a very handsome guy I'm gonna be like I woke up <laughs> That is gonna be like waking up next to you is gonna be like so super handsome people But I believe that you can love somebody even though they're not handsome love is not measured by beauty or anything love is just it's a feeling that you should allow yourself to feel and if you go for a guy that is not good looking and you really love him definitely go for it and the other thing is don't fool yourself guys never fool yourself don't be on some oh i met this wonderful guy 30 minutes ago and he really really is into me he loves me 30 minutes ago you do not know half of that person and that person does not know half of you so learn somebody before you just do it and sometimes you get these wonderful stories oh, I met him uh, 30 minutes ago and we got pregnant and he proposed I met half of his family now we are together <laughs> wonderful our tent and you know there's these ones like you know, I'm in love with a married man. He's going to leave his wife. Girl, he's not. He's definitely not going to do that. Some do, but he's definitely not going to do that. Friend, we'd rather not be friends. Uh, because psst, I'd rather not be your friend. Let's just be honest. Because you're living in a fantasy, you know. Like, he's going to leave his wife and then we're going to go live in Mars. Just the two of us and then we're going to have kids on our own. And... Listen to me, and listen to me very well. It doesn't happen a lot. And sometimes it's better not to force yourself. Let me tell you, if somebody, you look at them and you like, hell no. <laughs> that feeling is usually very right. If you look at a person, you're like, Psst, hell no. It means, hell no, don't do it. Don't fall into that trap. Don't, don't, hey, don't do it. <laughs> don't it's it's a trap somebody people will show you who exactly they are and if you have a bad feeling usually it's right if people tell you this person no usually they're right i know you know you definitely won't believe it there's two types of people you cannot advise in life somebody with money and somebody in love you cannot advise those two people so let's not even just let them be just let them be you know because it's not worth it i believe in love i just haven't found one person that i feel like my world has just started okay even if i even if i find one it's usually like oh my word you're the most handsome creature i've ever met <laughs> on this planet <laughs> but i'm not gonna tell you <laughs> just gonna look at you and then you're gonna go and ask my friends out and then I'm gonna like oh he likes you he really does you can have him because you know what meaning that 
he was not into me he was into you but nigga don't come afterwards and be like i'm you know initially i thought you were the one but then you know your other friend she was into me no don't do that don't you dare do that and someone else's boyfriend is not our boyfriend please you know what this side chicks main chick thing let it stop me all you know i cannot be proud to be a side chick you can't really be because you know when they're not talking to you the other relationship is going well i've done it regret it it was nice though because you know what i'm fun i know he's gonna watch this i was fun i know <laughs> yeah we had some i i was in i was a side chick and i knew and uh, you know what I don't know why I did it, but it's because I was evil, heartless, reckless, and I just want to experience life like everybody else. I mean, I cannot be a good person all my life. Oh, we so holy. We so... No, I'm not. I, I, I don't think there's anybody who can come up and say, like, my whole life I've been holy. Mm. Preach, sister, preach. No. Well, I've done it, not because I'm a bad person, but not definitely because I'm a good person. I'm, I'm neither of them. I'm not a saint. I'm not a devil. I'm just me. I'm just, I'm just out in this world trying to make it. But I remember when I did it. It was quite exciting. I loved it, actually. The guy made it worthwhile, actually. We, I, I don't know how he did it, but I feel like he spent more time with me than the girlfriend. And secret... He took me out on Valentine's Day. <laughs> you see? Girl, play your cards right. If you're going to do it, make sure he cries. Because literally he does not know what he wants in life. That's what people with side cheeks and main cheeks and They don't know what they want. And if they cannot see you and be like, I, I found the one. They're going to keep playing that game till they're 40 years old. You're going to be an old woman still running after some, some, some loser because that's what losers do. Like, Have you noticed successful people, usually they, they get married and they try to get their life on point. You know, they try. My unpopular opinion. <laughs> that's the thing like if you know that you're not gonna get jealous because it's gonna get time that he's gonna spend with his girlfriend and the other thing is when you pre have you ever had a crush okay let's call it a crush this crush has a girlfriend and you just happen to know the girlfriend and happen to be acquaintances guys don't be backstabbing friends I you cannot be a friend you know acquaintance and then you know you get to like that person but that person's got what you want are you really gonna like that person so no don't pretend with that person like ah oh, let's be besters of friends so you can find out how your crush dates her how your what your crush likes no that's not homework that's just being utterly stupid and you're gonna hurt yourself so i've gone to that point if i like your boyfriend yo gosh i can't believe i'm saying this if i like your boyfriend we are not friends we cannot be friends please don't force this friendship on me because i, I i'm gonna tell you straight like you have what i want so please i'm not going to be like liking you a lot so this friendship must end friendship down i think it should be friendship down because you're gonna hear a lot about him, she's gonna talk about him, and your heart is gonna melt. Your heart is gonna melt. It's gonna melt all the way to your stomach. <laughs> you're like, I wish it could have been me. And the more he sees you with that person, that he's gonna have to respect that the mere fact that you guys are friends. Even if they break up, he's gonna have to respect the mere fact that you guys are friends. So stay away from your crushes, girlfriends. Yeah, stay away. You know? I I'd rather just be like, hey friend, yo yay 
person your boyfriend i like him so pss, me and you pss, being friends mm -mm. and there's i heard this thing that there's no such thing as a guy friend i didn't believe it now i do somebody gonna fall in love we don't know who might be the guy might be the girl might be both of y'all that'll be so awesome i, I want to hear such stories guys i want to hear such but it's hard to come from friendship into relationship which it should be the easiest thing but it's hard because y'all already know each other's bad and worst side you all know each other from yeah and friends with benefits <laughs> I like that shit. I like it. I fucking like that shit. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Sorry for the language. I love it. Okay? But don't do it. I've done it. Yeah, judge me. Done it. Like, yeah, I've done it. Like all of y'all, y'all all tried to smoke, y'all tried to drink just was not your thing nobody's judging you tried friends with benefits yeah it works friends with benefit is the best thing you can ever do okay until somebody starts getting feelings usually it's gonna be you usually it's me <laughs> now you want possession of that person now it's no longer the same because I just believe that do it and but you know that there's consequences you know there's consequences in life but I love it like I love I don't know I love living on the edge I love doing the things that are not normal but my friend with benefits like literally we hate each other <laughs> we hate love each other that's the thing it's me like it's somebody you wish you could be with but i mean if you're already into that stage man just go for it do it make me proud guys i i'm encouraging everybody if you've ever liked somebody and you wanted to be friends with benefits just do it you know let me tell you just do it because that will be the best experience you've ever 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 had oh lie to you be like yeah 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 it's wrong you know it's like it's it's it, it it's beliefs if you believe something great if you don't great well, I believe in a lot of things. <laughs> I believe in God, but I mean, who practices a lot of godly things? I don't know a lot of people that do, but you know, I, I, I also want, I, I, I have my own standards too. Like, I only want to have children when I'm married. It's one of the things I told myself. I really, I really want to wait until i'm married i really want my children to to have their father near them i i grew up very well because i had my dad and my mom and you know you see how they able to love each other and you learn from that and you want that because that's the norm you understand i don't want my child to not be able to live and enjoy their dad and mom at the same time and they have to go live with some other stepmom and then they have to come to some stepdad and we never know what is inside those people's hearts like none i don't know in chivanda say tibundi kari so it means like you cannot open somebody's heart and really see what's inside they may, might pretend to you and the world like oh i love I love this person, I'm able, mm -hmm. and then in the same time, mm -hmm. that is not the case. So for me, I'd rather have my children with somebody I 
that I know we signed with together. This is it. I know people can get married for one day and divorce the next day, yes. But that's not going to be the case, is it? You know, now you have to make up lies to your child. Oh, your daddy was a pilot and then there was a car crash. Did I just say a car crash? Yeah, a car crash. And then the plane and the car collided into each other. Unbelievable stories. <laughs> yeah, so those are the type of things. And guys, if if I'm at 30 and I don't have children, I will need a very handsome sperm donor. I think I know how to my children will look like. I will, but I, I believe in that. I believe in freezing your eggs and all those things. Just that I can't afford it, but I, I would have... I would do it and you know get surrogates and you know have like six children for the at least you know I'm four six you know and yeah I'm gonna be able to afford my life and children and oh my god my house is gonna be so exciting I can imagine <laughs> my house is gonna be exciting oh I can't wait for little Pumranis you know little ones Oh my gosh, I hope they have my personality and I want to raise them in South America. Any guy from South America, hola, mi nombre es Pumulani Mra Uzi. <laughs> okay, dream on. I love dreaming, so I, I believe everybody should dream and achieve. But guys, these are just my unpopular opinion about relationships. <laughs> They're just so unpopular, but I, I, I believe that you can learn something from it. And I'm not a relationship expert. I suck at relationships, though, because I think I'm awesome. And I feel like that makes you like become an egomaniac who is in love with themselves. Like, you just be like, I'm so great, I'm so awesome, I'm everything, and you can become selfish in that. And you can get hurt sometimes, and then not allow people in your life. I feel like I've, I've done that, like, I don't trust nobody, I mean nobody. I don't trust nobody, I ain't got no friends. <laughs> the cash money you know you get like that but I, I i believe that in life you should find somebody you're willing to 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 sit through their bad days through their good days understand them and somebody you want to see succeed and not fight them but rather try to make them better because that's what relationships are for me. It's me and somebody trying to live in this world, making each other's lives a little bit better and trying to understand one another. And no matter where you're from, no matter which, 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 which stage in your life you are, love is always available and it's available for every single one. Don't ever give up. Don't ever, ever, ever give up on love because the minute you give up on love, that's the minute you've given up on happiness and yourself. <sighs>